Hi boys and girls, it's another fun piece of art with Mrs. Johnson. Now this is my most favorite art lesson I get to teach in the spring, and so we're gonna do it now. This is my Eric Carle inspired art. So we just read through The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle, there he is. And I showed you this gorgeous beginning paintings. Do you see the colors there, all those holes? Look right there, do you see those brush strokes in the orange? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about today. Now, Eric Carle's illustrations are not drawn. They are um, something called collage. So he takes pieces of paper, usually tissue paper, and he paints his tissue paper and then lets it dry. And he creates patterns, kind of like those orange stripes you saw in the cover of the book. Also, you can see it right here in the green. You can see that, all those stripes. So he'll create a pattern and then he cuts out pieces and puts them in order to make a shape. So you're gonna do that today. So I realize that you may not have paint at home and you may not have tissue paper at home. So we're gonna modify this lesson. Some things you could do is you could use um, coffee filters like Mrs. Barber used to make the butterfly and you could draw on those with marker and then spray them. You also can take your crayons and you can create a pattern that way. So Eric Carl's patterns are very much non-purpose. There's not usually circles or lines or shapes. It's usually a lot of back and forth strokes with a lot of color. And then he tries to stay in color family. So red and orange, as you know, are warm colors. So is yellow and he'll try and keep these colors together, okay? Then he'll use his cool colors. This would be on a separate piece of paper, but Mrs. Johnson is trying to conserve resources here. And he'll put them together. Now, he might use less purple if he's looking for an ocean color. He might use more blue if he's looking for a sky. He might use more green if he's looking for grass. He also sometimes will mix his colors. So there's our warm, there's our cool. And as we saw in the caterpillar's cover, he's got a lot of green because the caterpillar in this story is green, but not all caterpillars are green. And then he's got some yellow because when you think about the grass, is it just green? No, there's some yellow in it there's some brown in it because these colors help the caterpillar to camouflage itself in nature so that it can be safe so there's one color pattern that you might use there's another there's another but did you see how easy that was with crayons to just kind of scribble back and forth on the paper mix some colors that look good together and that's your first step is you're going to create some paper so if your parents have copier paper you can use, that's easy. If you have coffee filters, if you have tissue paper, that's my favorite, but it does get a little bit messy that way, okay? So now that I've created this, I'm gonna show you this. Now this is something we have in our classroom parents. You can easily find these resources online. This one was from prekinders.com. You can find something like this. Now this we would use with our tanjo blocks um, and those are shaped blocks that you use to create the pattern. Now, sometimes they're colored and sometimes they're black and white. We always keep these back to back like this so our students can challenge themselves. You may not have these shapes at home, but you can um, create them using this. So we all know what these shapes are. We've got our triangles down here. We've got our, I always do this, that's a hexagon because it's six. I always want to call it something else. And then we've got our really long diamonds up here, okay? So this is an easy one. You've got the pattern here. Yes, also known as a rhombus. Mrs. Johnson learned it as a diamond and has to remember that it can be a rhombus. So now, moms and dads, your next step is going to be to help them draw some shapes. So there's a few ways you can do that. You can freehand it. So on this green, I'm going to take a purple, and I'm just going to make... A hexagon it's not perfect and then I'm gonna cut it out see it was not perfect <laughs> at all 
that became something completely different, but there you go. And we cut it out and then there we go. And then we're gonna cut out another one to put here and we're gonna make the body of our caterpillar. Then you can take whatever color you want for the feet and make feet, and whatever color you want for the antlers and make antlers. I mean, not antlers, wow. This is okay. not a moose, it's an antenna. Sorry, boys and girls. Um, <laughs> But basically, have fun with it. You, if you don't want to make a caterpillar, don't make a caterpillar. Make a flower. You could make a butterfly like this. You could make a rainbow like this. But whatever you do create, I would love for you to share pictures with us of it. So you can email the Little Shepherd Preschool at gmail.com with pictures of the art that you have created using this very simplified Eric Carl picture book art lesson. We hope you're having fun, staying safe, making memories, and always learning. We'll see you soon, boys and girls.